The book I choose is Between the World and Me. I think this book is a real privilege. It's come out. It's still working its way sort of in the underground um, and creating quite a grassroots movement around it. It is about being black in America today and it's written in a very unusual way between a father and his son. He's writing a letter to his son. So you have the sense that you're being allowed into an incredibly private conversation and feel very privileged um, as a result. Uh, I'm mixed race. I have heard what black people say when white people aren't around. And unfortunately, I've also heard what white people say when black people aren't around. Well, this book really allows everybody into the world of how black people feel. And in that way, it's a bridge builder. It's heartbreaking. Um, it's redemptive. It's to the mark um, because everything he's written is with an honesty that you would tell your child, almost like a legacy of um, what he's learned in how to survive as a black man in America. And it's very interesting because it talks about dreams and the American dream, the white man's American dream that is based on the profits of slavery. And he says, beware of dreams and of whose dreams you follow, because like that dream, it could be based on having a the creation of a bad other, which is the black person in this case, um, so that you have the white hero, which if you look at the history of, of with the American Indians when America was first created, um, it, it speaks for itself, really. Um, and unfortunately, he's saying today nothing's really changed and also that this is highly relevant to all of us. He really calls on our interconnectedness at the end because he says that the plundering that allowed this dream to happen because they haven't been honest about how this dream was created. They're continuing to plunder on the environment today for economic ends and that concerns us all and our future um so yes it's a follow-on from james baldwin's well when i say a follow-on people have put it um akin to that which is a is a high privilege of james baldwin's book that he wrote for his son and um i hope you enjoy it um definitely worth a read on a cold winter's day <laughs>